ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Randall M. Roof. I'm a born again Christian, and I want to read something very important to you. Uh, this is Philippians 4.8. Uh, um, it says, Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. So with that in mind, I want to tell you a little story about my Halo collection. This is not something that is praiseworthy. Um, it's violent, and I'll admit, I've, in the past I've enjoyed playing these games with myself and other people that I know. Um, but in an effort to be a better Christian and to better serve our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, um, I've decided to get rid of my Halo games, to completely destroy them. Um, you know, the question always comes up, well, why don't you sell them and make some money? Well, the thing is, if I sell them and make some money, yeah, I'd have some money, but this would be going to someone else. And don't want that to happen. Um, let me tell you something. Uh, Start, I started out playing Halo 3 several years, well, it's been a long time. I got this for like 10 bucks on eBay um, and enjoyed playing it. But again, not serving God. Halo 3 ODST came next. Uh, next was Halo Reach. I'll talk about that last. And of course, Halo 4. Halo Reach is the one I've played the most. I've played this for many years. Uh, wasted a lot of time. Um, I've wasted money resources, when I could be do, doing other things, more praiseworthy to God. And because I'm trying to rededicate my life to serving our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I think one way to do what uh, the Apostle Paul told us we should do is think on good things that are praiseworthy as we just read. I'm going to destroy these games permanently so I won't be tempted to play them again. Um, Anytime you have um, an M for mature on video games, if you really want to praise and glorify God, don't buy them. I uh, wasted time and money on these, and I, um, as I look back at my life, I regret wasting it, okay? I'm not saying I didn't have some fun back in the day, but it didn't help me out any. It, didn't, it was just a, a way to spend time. And there was no growth from it, no helping other people, no helping myself. Uh, it was just something to pass the time. And um, so to better improve myself and hopefully bear some fruit that will help you out, I'm going to destroy these games. So let me get my glasses on here. Save that one for last. I hope I can, it's kind of hard to do this with. Halo 3, where I started playing Halo. As you can see, these aren't the only games I've started to uh, throw away and destroy today. Halo 3 ODST. ODST. Campaign disc, multiplayer disc, crash, Halo 4, bye bye, uh, the other part of Halo 4, Yeah, those are all smashed. I was gonna say. Okay, this is the one I played the most. I've been playing this for a long time. But um, it's good that I'm getting rid of it because, again, it doesn't serve the glory of God. So, goodbye, Halo Reach.
There's the verse in the Bible. So until next time, I'm Randall Lamb Roos saying thanks for watching. Have a good day, and may God bless you. Bye.